Welcome back to Toddle Inn. And on this edition, we head off to Southern Ontario from British Columbia, and uh, we pick up part of the Trans-Canada Highway and then shoot right across the top of the United States off to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and then down into Southern Ontario. What a fabulous journey we had. We stayed at some uh, really neat campgrounds and RV parks and some so not so nice <laughs> RV parks along the way, but uh, that's all part of our VA. And uh, we enjoyed our time between Great Lakes of Lake Erie and Lake Huron, Southern Ontario. And it was time to head over to Chicago and pick up parts of Route 66 and then head to the West Coast. But um, just on the outskirts of Detroit, we got a uh, call from a hospital in Chilliwack, British Columbia that my uncle had passed. He had named us the executors of his estate and our trip was cut short. So rather than heading up to um, Route 66 or uh, heading up to Chicago, we decided to just pick up uh, I-90 and then head towards Seattle and then into the province of British Columbia. So join us as we toddle in across the U.S. and Canada. Eileen and I are excited to be heading off to southern Ontario to visit family and friends and spend a few relaxing days along one Lake of the Great Erie Lakes. Or, yeah, Lake Erie. Yeah, Lake Erie. We're um, looking forward to spending about four days. Um, we've got reservations along Lake Erie at a place called Port Glasgow. So, uh, and then we've got family between Chatham and London, Ontario. And uh, it's going to be a, a beautiful trip. We're not pushing it real hard. We've, uh, we've taken four weeks for this trip and uh, to be back by the end, toward the end of August. But in any event, uh, we'll take you along with us on this journey. And um, thank you for watching Toddle In. And please like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, so let's get going. We'll see you in Kamloops. <laughs> So we drove past Kamloops and um, headed off toward Banff. We're still heading east toward Alberta. And uh, just past Banff, we found a casino. And I believe it's the Nakoda Nation. And um, we slept there that evening, enjoyed a great rest, got up in the morning and headed toward Calgary and off to the Coots Sweetgrass border crossing into the United States and uh, picking up Highway 2 heading east. Just a beautiful spot. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's like two minutes off Trans-Canada Highway. And you've got a casino, you've got a place to stay, you've got a place to park your RV, all no charge. And um, we went in and registered, and the young fellow at the desk was kind. He said, listen, if you want to use our washrooms or any of our facilities, it's free. So we would definitely recommend stopping here on your way east or west. Excellent, yeah. And we're so close to Calgary now, we're just in the Kananaskis. So we'll be toddling off to the Coots border crossing tomorrow. Yep. It's our first morning of being on the road after two years of uh, waiting until the pandemic settled down and we were able to travel again. Last night we spent the evening in the parking lot of the Stony Nakoda Resort and Casino uh, along Highway 1 between Calgary and Banff. We're about 50 miles west of Calgary. It was a peaceful sleep and it was extremely warm when we went to bed last night and it cooled down nicely so we're up and today the goal is to uh, make it to Lethbridge head to Lethbridge and then off to Coots cross the border into the United States and uh, we'll be traveling along I-15 to uh, Highway 2, Route 2 eastbound and we're undecided now. We discussed last night whether we head down to Chicago or we take one of our favorite drives and that's the Upper Peninsula across the Mackinac Bridge to Port Huron and then into Ontario. But uh, it's a beautiful morning here on the west, well not the west coast, you know, you get familiar with saying things like uh, good morning from the west coast but in any event we're in the province of Alberta and we are eastbound uh, to southern Ontario. So uh, join us and uh, we'll be toddling along and taking in some of the sights along 
uh, the route to Coots or Sweetgrass as it's known in the United States and then to Highway 2. So thank you for joining us on this edition of Toddle In and uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated. And we are stopped for tonight in uh, the wonderful state of Montana and we're staying at the appropriately named Shady Rest. Yeah, that's funny because in Ontario we stay at the Shady Pines and uh, along the way too we managed to find the Shady Rest. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, it was a long day. I think we uh, overdid it. It was about a 12 hour day and um, pretty uneventful. Although uh, one thing we've discovered along Route 2, the northern uh, highway uh, east to, or west to east or east to west of the United States, there's not a lot of choice. Um, but we, we're doing this for uh, different reasons. As I mentioned, when the boys were little, we took them on Route 2, and I now understand why the boys were so bored. <laughs> um, our oldest son, Mark, celebrated his 13th birthday on that trip, and they were bored out of their tree, and yet um, Eileen and I were anxious to get to Ontario. But uh, I understand that now, and I'm gonna go home and apologize to the boys and say I fully understand. But anyhow, it, uh, um, Fuel prices have remained pretty consistent. We're paying about $5.49 for diesel. For diesel a gallon, $5.49 a gallon uh, for diesel. But um, we're hoping as we get a little further east that the prices will drop a bit. There was a lady that was pretty excited because it had dropped a dime. Yes, today when we got, when she gassed up, it had dropped a dime. Yeah, so every nickel helps. Um, so that's two nickels that she saved per gallon. So thank you for joining us. We've toddled into our resting spot for this evening. Everything is all hooked up and uh, we will continue our journey, journey as we toddle in to Southern Ontario. Well, here we are set up at a harvest host in Northern Minnesota, the Honeyberry Farm. What a beautiful location. Um, we were able to park right next to some antique tractors and uh, if, uh, if there's someone who loves old iron and has got old red iron in his blood, it's definitely me. And uh, this couldn't have been a better stop than, uh, than this location. So we've got the reflection and the uh, Duramax all set up for this evening. Eileen's inside the trailer making dinner and uh, we are going to rest this evening and then get back on the road and then head toward Duluth tomorrow on our way toddling in towards southern Ontario. Well, this is a rather unique harvest host. It's a Yupik berry farm and we are on, um, well actually we're in northern Minnesota and I think I've mentioned that, but it's the Honeyberry Farm. It's a harvest host, beautiful location. Um, you're right on the uh, black top or the pavement and uh, you pull in and there's enough room there for three big uh, RVs. So the thing that I truly enjoy are the old antique tractors along with this wonderful location. We've yet to meet our hosts but Eileen is busy snapping pictures of the old tractors and uh, the reflection of the background. But it's a beautiful evening. It is uh, toward the end of July 2022 and we are toddling in across the top of the United States. Uh, tomorrow we hope to be in the Upper Peninsula and then work our way to Port Huron. But for tonight, we're gonna get a great rest at... Honeybee Farms. Honeyberry. <laughs> oh, sorry, Honeyberry. Yeah, I'm looking for the bees. <laughs> yeah, they're probably pollinating <laughs> yeah. the fruit back there, but we're gonna take a walk down the laneway and uh, we'll capture some of the other sites. If you're a member of Harvest Host, and you're traveling northern Minnesota um, and you love old tractors and old iron then we recommend staying here. What a treat. Um, the hosts have a wonderful collection of um, various tractors. Cockshut to co-op. I even saw a Massey in there and some of them are in need of restoration and, I, and I'm assuming that's what uh, the hosts will end up doing is restoring some of these beautiful gems. But it's nice to see, rather than them going to the junkyard and being scrapped, that, uh, that there's some love and attention given to this old iron. What a 
magnificent collection of old tractors at the Honeyberry Farm, a harvest host location in northern Minnesota, just off Highway 2. What are you picking? Are they raspberries? Raspberries? They look great. Oh, they look delicious. What a beautiful location for a harvest host. I have no idea what kind of berry that is. It looks like a blueberry. But it's more tubular. And it tastes different. It tastes more like a boysenberry or something. Maybe. I have no idea. It's tasty. We're not food experts. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, we like food. Well, there's one that's a bitter shape. I and mean, then you can see the inside's red. Yeah. Not blue, like blueberry. Yeah, I see that. A nice treat. Okay, we made it across Duluth, the big bridge. Yep, across Lake Pointe Lake Superior. And now we are in the Wisconsin. state of Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Yeah. yeah. That was a nice easy drive this morning. It was, it was beautiful. Um, the sun coming up and the clouds and the sky, but now it's clearing up and it's getting warmer, so that's great. So we're on our way to, we're going to try and get as close to Mackinac City as possible, and then to Port Huron. Great. Across the, port, the um, Mackinac Bridge. Right. So what's been the highlight so far? Um, I think our harvest host last night. <laughs> yeah, that was one unique. Of the highlights. Yeah, that, that was, was really neat. Yeah, that was fun. We found a beautiful pullout along Highway 2 and uh, off in the distance is the Mackinac Bridge and what a gorgeous view, what a beautiful lake Lake Michigan is. We're on our way to Southern Ontario. It is day five of our journey from uh, the west coast of British Columbia just outside of Vancouver and uh, the traveling weather weather-wise has been fabulous. We're hearing on the radio that much of the United States is in a heat wave 
Uh, temperatures 100 plus, but it's a cool morning on the Upper Peninsula. We woke up to 12 degrees. That's 12 uh, Celsius. I'll convert that and put it right down here for you. But um, hey, it's just a beautiful journey. Route 2 heading toward I-75 and off in the distance uh, you can see Michigan and uh, there's a model over here and I know the GoPro is not going to do it much justice because I can't zoom in but let's see if I can give you a camera perspective right there is my stopwatch Absolutely gorgeous. No, can't see anything. Okay, we are at, uh, it's called Susie's. I thought it said Barry's, but it's Susie's. We've driven by these locations. Not this one in particular. Well, yeah, this one too. Lots of times. And often wondered what's a patsy. Is it pasty or pasties? I think it's pasties. So we're we, going to find out right now what they're like. Yeah, we've never had one. From what we've seen and heard, good. We're just almost at the foot of the Mackinac Bridge. So whether you want fudge, beef jerky, smoked fish, uh, apparently this is Michigan's best. But uh, we're going to head inside and find out what a pasty is and uh, we'll let you know from all reports they're good so i the, this is a must we're kind of embarrassed that we've been by here so many times on this journey to southern ontario we've never stopped for one but um, this is also our 50th wedding anniversary year and we've decided to take things a little bit slower and enjoy life and uh, visit some of the places that uh, that we have not been to so this is one of them Potatoes, beef. I'm eating mine naked. You've got sour cream? Sour cream. I've got coleslaw. Well, my honest opinion, <laughs> it's pretty average. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a meat pie. It's a handheld meat pie. And, and if I've insulted anyone, my apologies, but it's pretty average. So, I think that'll be the last one I'm having. <laughs> Will it? Oh, yeah. Stories in an RV 
making memories along the way. Tired of living. 